In this lesson, we will visualize those numbers to prove to you or show to you that we actually have a linear regression. And this is one of the most important parts of machine learning developer job is to define which model or which algorithm to use. So you have a set of data, a CSV, it may be much more complex, and then you need to decide. In this case, we have simple X and Y variable. So let's try to visualize that on a chart, a plot, a graph, whatever you call that. And let's see where are the points of X and Y. And from that visual view, we often can decide which algorithm to use. So at this point of our script, we don't have anything about linear regression. And let's examine if we do see that straight line for linear relationships. To visualize the data, we will use another Python library, a very popular library called matplotlib. So we will import that on top beforehand i installed it in my machine with pip install matplotlib so now i can do import matplotlib but in fact we need just the part of that library and this is another option how to load library into python script only a part of that library module or sub library or whatever you call it we need pyplot it is called and we also will assign it an alias called plt like this. Also keep in mind that most often all those imports are done on top of the script from the very beginning. So quite often in machine learning projects you will list a lot of libraries to import but then you use them somewhere later down below in the script. And also let's separate those cells so imports would be a separate thing. So this will be one cell in notebook and this will be another cell. Good. Now, the only thing you need to do to visualize the data in our simple case, let's create another cell in the notebook, plt scatter will be the function that we will use. There are multiple functions to have different plots and graphs and charts. In this case, we need scatter and we have two parameters for scatter, which is x and y. And if you don't use Jupyter Notebook, you use PyCharm or VS Code, you probably need to also run plt show but in this case in Jupyter notebook it happens automatically so if we do that we will see this chart this graph so this is x axis this is y axis these are the salaries and these are the years of experience and these are the dots from our csv file and you can see kind of invisible straight line that may be drawn here almost straight. It never actually is ideally straight. The data is never perfect. In fact, in real world scenarios, the data may be much worse than our situation. But this view will kind of prove to my mind as ML engineer that we have a linear dependency of X and Y, which means we can try to use linear regression model. To explain linear regression from mathematical point of view, I don't want to get too deep into mathematical explanation but from wikipedia you can get the general sense so this is another visual example also almost straight line just from another data set so just from that you get the idea as humans we mostly understand visual language better than explanation but if you want the formula and the math you can scroll down a bit and here's the general formula for simple linear regression y which means salary in our case, equals alpha plus beta times x. In other sources, you may find different letters meaning the same thing. You can find y equals a times x plus b or y equals m times x plus n or something like that. But that formula actually means that all the y values can be calculated with calculating the approximate values of alpha and beta here from the initial value of x. And this is actually the task of machine learning model to analyze the current data, the CSV that we do have. From that data, the model would calculate the approximate values, the average values for alpha and beta, and then we'll use those values to predict the new salaries for new years of experience for new employees. I hope you get the idea and I hope this visualization clearly shows to you that we have a linear dependence. Now in the next lesson, we will split the data, data frame from another angle. We will have training data and testing data.